Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript Advanced Tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn focus and blur event. In the previous video, we had learned what each click event is all about. Now in this lesson, we will concentrate on focus and blur event. So let's get started. The focus event is fired when HTML element has received focus. And the blur event is fired when the element lost focus. Along with that, we will also understand how to use target property of event object. So using the following example, you will completely understand how to use focus and blur event. So in dom.html file, we will create a form with two text boxes. We are using division tag to create a form ID and using focus and blur event, we are going to change background color of the text boxes, right? So I will just create a division tag here. So I will say div and specify ID form, right? And in this division tag, I will create two text boxes. So I will say first input type text and specify placeholder name, right? Just after that, I will create another text box here. So I will say input type password and specify placeholder password, right? Now, I just wanted to style these two text boxes using style element. So I'm going to use CSS to style this element. So I will say style here in the head section of this dom.html file. I will create style tag here and select the input text boxes using input selector and specify padding 0.5 em text align center and font size is going to be 0.9 em right now our design is ready so i will just go to the main.js file and i will select the division tag using its id so i will say let form is equal to document dot get element by id and in the parenthesis i will specify form right so this is my id name just after that i will select the form id and add event listener to it using event listener we will call focus event first so i will say form dot add event listener and in the parenthesis i will first specify my event so i will say focus here and the second parameter is the handler function so i will say function and in the parenthesis of this function i will specify for an argument so i will say event here now here we are going to use target property of event object to get current element right like this so to get your current element i will just use event dot target property i just want to show you how this target property work so i will say console dot log event i will specify parameter name here and dot target so this is my target property and just after that i will specify comma here and specify true right so this boolean indicate that the listener should be invoked at most once after being added if true the listener would be automatically removed when invoked so when you execute this and focus on any html element like text box 1 or text box 2 then the target property will return the text box so on the console you will get your element right so when you click on the first text box you will get first text box on the console and if you click on the second one then you will get second text box on the console right so now using target property you can get your current element right now you know that the target property will return element now we are going to use this target property to change the background color of the text box so i will just remove this statement and here i will say event dot target dot style dot background is equal to and specify background color here so i will say light blue right So when you execute this, you can change your text box background color when you focus on it. But you will notice when you click on the text box, the text box color remain the same. In this situation, you need to create another event listener to remove this background color and specify default style to this element. So in this situation, you can use blur event. As I said previously, 
blur event is fired when the element lost focus. So when the element lost focus, we will specify default background color to that element. So here I will just select the form and add event listener to it and then specify blur event and the handler function and just change the background color. So I will say form dot add event listener and specify event here. So I will say blur comma the second argument which is the handler function. So I will say function and in the parenthesis I will specify an argument event and in this function I will say event dot target dot style dot background and then I do not specify anything to the background property right so when you execute this your text box background color will change automatically when you lost focus from the element so when you click on it you will get your light blue color and when you lost your focus you will get default background color of the text box element right these two events are very important when you wanted to validate your input text boxes using JavaScript. If you wanted to learn any other event, then you can comment me. I will definitely make a video on that event. That's it. I hope you understand this lecture. I have asked a question in the comment. Answering that question will help you to understand this topic more easily. That is all for now. We will see you in the next tutorial.